I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a desert biome in an endangered animal, a tortoise. I come over here on the bottom left hand side and I'm going to put one, two, three, four straight lines and make a rectangle. I come to each corner and I put one, two, three, four little straight diagonal lines. In between each one I put a wavy wavy line connect, wavy wavy line connect, wavy wavy line connect, wavy wavy line connect. Inside I'm going to write desert because that is the biome that we are going to draw. A biome is a large area of land or water that has similar climate, plants, and animals. And what that basically means is we're going to do the American desert, but there's also a Sahara desert. There's other deserts around the world. Starting right here on top of our wavy line, we're going to draw a straight line up, little curved line out, straight line up, little curve line in, down straight line, up, curve line straight line, curve line over, straight line down, curve line, little curve line, straight line, curve line down, connect. Inside I'm just going to draw one, two, three, four, five straight lines and I'm going to put some dots every once in a while going down and then I'm going to put one two little curved lines one two one one okay now starting over here I'm going to put a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw a straight line curve line down straight line up and leave it floating I come right over here and I put another dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw curve line, curve line down, up, and leave it floating. I come back to this space right here and I'm just going to draw a little curve line down, up, connect. I'm going to draw one oval, two ovals, and I'm going to draw one, two little dots. I come inside my ovals and put curve line on the left, curve line on the right. I'm going to color these in black. Okay? Now I come back over to this line and I'm going to bring it up, curve line, down, over, up, curve line, curve line, connect. Starting on the left, I draw a big curve line up over, down, connect. Right at this space I just draw a curve line up, connect. Now I come over to this space. I'm going to draw a curve line down, bam, it crashes into that, that's okay. Bring it down over here, curve line up, connect. Come over here, we're going to draw a curve line out, down, over, up, connect. Now down at the bottom we draw one, two, three curved lines. Come over way over here, straight line, curve line down, up, connect, one, two, three curved lines. Now I come back over here on the left and I can add one, two little curved lines. I come back over here and I can bring this line up, connect. I come inside this space and I start at the top and I just draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Then next to it, curve line up, curve line down, curve line down, curve line over. Come on the right, 
curve line up, up, curve line up, curve line down, connect, come inside. Everybody's is going to look different. Curve line, curve line. Because we all draw differently, we all have different sizes. But you get the general idea. These are the scales of our tortoise. Curve line. Now I come back over here and I'm going to do an overlap. Curve line, curve line, keep going inside each one of these spaces. Okay, take your time. Come inside on this space. We're going to start off with a wavy line, but now we're going to curve line, curve line, curve line, up, curve line, up, curve line, curve line, up, curve line. Now we do overlaps again, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Luckily, most of this is drawn because when we color, you'll see not a lot to color. Keep going. Curve lines, overlapping, curve lines. Okay, let me see. I think that's all on him. Now, starting over here, midpoint, slightly wavy line. We're dividing up our space. Jump over. Don't draw through your drawing. Come all the way up. Wavy line, wavy line. Keep going. Jump over. Wavy line. And now we're going to do the background. And it's straight line, kind of wavy line. Bring it down. Connect. Straight line, straight line. Bring it over. Connect. Straight line up, over, down, up, off the page. And right up here, let's just draw a circle. Okay, I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take my yellow green and color in this space. And in the desert biome, you have to realize that there are also plants that are also endangered that affect everything. So I color in this space with my yellow green. Then, because I want my biome name to pop a little bit in this little frame, I'm taking pink. And we're going to do kind of a pink desert look. So with my pink, I'm going to just draw straight lines. Don't draw through your tortoise. But just add some straight lines of color, pink. And we'll put a little bit right up here also. Jump over. Don't forget the right hand side. Then I'm going to take my orange and wherever there's a pink line, now I'm going to put an orange line all the way over. Try and stay away from drawing through your tortoise. And last but not least, I'm going to take my peach beige apricot and fill in the rest of this space down at the bottom so you can kind of see that there's a sandstone base happening. And then I'm going to take the same color and I'm going to do this middle part with that sandstone color. And I'm going to do these low mountain plateaus in the background. Okay, so that gives everything a first coat of color. I'm going to take my yellow, very important, color in that sun. Whoops, I mean color in this space. And then, using the flat side, I'm going to do that blue sky. And in the desert, it is really blue. Okay? Now we're going to do this space. The first thing I do is I'm going to take my gray and I'm going to put a coat of color 
on top of every space. Now sometimes people could just go, mm, no, let's just try and put a little bit in each space individually because that will give your space a little bit of texture. So first we're going to do gray and you don't want to do it so dark that you take out your drawing but you do want to put some color in because it's going to make a difference when we do the other color. Don't forget your toenails. Okay? Now, I'm going to come up and I'm going to add some brown straight lines up here at the top because these desert mountain plateaus sometimes have that as a look. Then, everywhere I have a black line, I'm going to take my brown and I'm going to put a line next to it. It doesn't have to be even because it is an animal. But wherever there's a black line going over the gray, I'm going to add a brown line all the way across. Do this space here. And I'm going to loop-de-loop -loop a little bit more inside here. And the same thing on this part. Go ahead and use your brown to kind of emphasize all these overlaps. Okay? Now, if you didn't put enough gray down on your first coat, you'll notice real quick. Okay? Then you can come back in and you can add just some up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down lines to this space. Fill it in a little bit. And don't forget your toenails like I just did. I think that's all. Yeah. All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my desert biome all colored in with my endangered animal, a tortoise. And that's it. Okay, bye-bye.